When we think of the ocean, we think of the beach. But I'm speaking to one of a handful of people who have been to the deepest depths of our oceans. My name is Bruce Strickrod, and I am currently the senior pilot and manager of Alvin Operations Group at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Phew. He pilots a submarine called Alvin, and he works with scientists to explore deep ocean life and terrain. You know, our average depth on, on most of the dives is between 2,500 and 3,000 meters. That's almost two vertical miles. This is what it feels like to go 10,000 feet below the water surface. We dive often down near the equator, so it's bright and sunny and it's early morning, it's nice. You'll dive in the water and you hit a color of turquoise that I have never been able to see anywhere else. But that blue doesn't last long. It's easy to lose light within the five to 10 minutes, easy. And you're left suspended in seemingly black water. The sub spins the whole way down and the whole way up, but you don't even notice. The only, the only way you can tell is you can look at the compass and see us turning around. Within that darkness, small flashes emerge. These are from animals who live at these extreme depths. You hit lots of bioluminescence. The amount that you can see outside is astounding. And then you hit the bottom. When you get to the site that you're headed to and you turn the lights on, there's a huge wow factor there. In particular, areas with geothermal vents, or these underwater geysers, massive structures that rise thousands of feet up towards the surface. The view out the front is astounding because there's nothing like it anywhere else on the planet, nothing. Our perspective is altered by our experience because you can't go and look at the ocean anymore and think of it just as this endless flat surface of water. You have an understanding of what's underneath it. 